Have you ever been to the palace in the silent France? If not, then you're just like me. But if you have ever seen the silent person, then you must have heard about a time traveling incident called the Mobley Jordan incident that made headlines around the world about a century ago. In 1901, two British visitors named Charlotte Ann Mobley and Eleanor Jordan experienced a strange event while they were visiting the gardens of Versailles, France on 10 August 1901. What they experienced was a true ghost story or time travel, or perhaps both. As they took a stroll in the gardens around the castle and visited the Petit Trianon, they found themselves lost and started to question what they were seeing. All the other people nearby seemed to be wearing strange clothes and the atmosphere changed. They walked past a woman and a girl in a cottage. They saw a woman shaking a cloth out of a window. They noticed an old, deserted farmhouse with an old plow standing in front of it. They saw men in coats wearing tree cornered hats. They saw a woman offer a jug to a child. They also came across a man wearing a cloak and a large shady hat. His complexion was dark and marked by smallpox. And when they reached the Petit Trianon, Mobley noticed a lady sketching on the grass, wearing a light summer dress, white hat and long hair. When Mobley first saw her, she thought that she's a tourist, but her appearance was somehow out of time. The entire walk struck both women as completely ordinary, yet also eerie. At the end of this bizarre experience, Mobley and Jordan returned to the main palace and joined a party of other visitors. Neither woman mentioned the incident to one another until a week after leaving Versailles. After their journey, Mobley asked Jordan if she had a feeling that the Petit Trianon was haunted. Both of them agreed that their experience was a paranormal one. Later, the pair compared notes and decided to write independent notes about their journey researching the history of the Sile to learn more about what happened. They discovered that many of the events that they saw did not exist in the 1900s. Every detail of the incident and research into clothing, layout and people fit that of the Versailles in the 1780s. In fact, they might have seen events that took place on 10 August 1792 and not 10 August 1901, the day of the insurrection that led to the abolition of the French monarchy. They began to suspect that they had seen the Comte de Vaudreuil, the man with the marked face who had been dead since 1817, and the old-fashioned lady greatly resembled King Louis XVI's consort, Marie Antoinette. When they went back to the Petit Trianon, they were unable to locate several landmarks they swore they had seen during their trip in 1901, and they also learned that the old plough they saw wasn't even there in the gardens. Such a plough did exist, however, during the reign of Louis XVI. Convinced that the grounds were haunted, Mobley and Jordan decided to publish their story in a book an adventure where they expressed no doubt that they had either spied ghosts from the 1780s or had traveled back in time to that period, specifically a time slip. Critics were skeptic about the authenticity of their story and that the whole thing was just a hoax in the first place. No matter what happened in the gardens of Asile during the visit of the two women, there had been other people who came forward to announce that they too had experienced similar incidents in the gardens. What do you think about this? Is that just a coincidence or is the Petit Trianon truly haunted or the woman have slipped through time?